Hi, are you tired of waiting for the IT team's backlog to clear so that you can get that dashboard you've been waiting for? Give me a few minutes of your time and I'll show you how you can create Power BI dashboards using SAP data on your desktop and in no time at all. Here at DVW Analytics, we have a piece of software called the XCS Connection Console. It forms a bridge between your SAP systems and analytical platforms such as Power BI. So let's see how easy it is to use. We start by getting data from the DVW connector within Power BI that talks to the XCS console and looks at the connections that we've set up or we can create new connections to different objects within SAP. We can connect to multiple systems. Here we're going to use a table. We can search for the tables we like or if we know the table, just connect to it in SAP and bring back its metadata. We can connect to any table, T-code, even HANA views or BW queries in this way. We select the fields we want. We can filter on absolutely any field as you can see here with material type, either by getting a list or adding a specific value. And then we can preview the data within the console. Once we're happy, we give the connection a name and then we can use it within Power BI. Back in Power BI, we can run the connection from the list within the console, preview the data and then use it as any other data within Power BI. What's more interesting though, is that we can parameterize those calls. So here within the Power Query Editor, we can create a filter that we can send back to the console to pull the specific data we're interested in. You can see that this filter has split, which means it will make multiple calls and then combine the data sets for us. Now we simply have to create a new query. We use the DVW specific function to call the connection within the console and then apply the filters that we have within our query. That means we can control from within Power BI exactly the data we want so when we run the query it pulls that data on demand from SAP and presents it within Power BI. What's more we can expand on this. Here we have the MARA or master data for materials for the list of material types in our filters. If we take a copy of that output then we can create a list of the materials that are relevant. This can now be used as a filter to control a second call to SAP to say the MAKT table which holds the descriptions of those materials. So we can nest the calls, we can make multiple calls back to SAP and get the full picture of what we want. You can see that second call here using a connection I built earlier and adding in the list of materials that I'm interested in. When I run the call I get the relevant text based on that filtered list of materials. So you can see we can be super surgical about the data that we pull from SAP and control that entirely from within Power BI. And then the final step is simply to join the sets of data from SAP together to create a full picture of our scenario. We can then use that within our dashboards, with our Power BI reporting as we wish, and that can be saved and refreshed at any time. So as you can see here, when we apply that Power Query, it runs, pulls the relevant data, makes the joins, and it becomes available for us to use. And we can build dashboards, analyses as we wish, using all the power of Power BI, even seeing down to the line item level of our data so we can analyze exactly what's going on. And once we've saved our dashboard, it's really easy to update it with new data by selecting the refresh option within Power BI. So here we have a truly dynamic, flexible and user-friendly way of accessing SAP data from within Power BI for anybody to use and build analytics and dashboards. I hope this was useful and if you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.